The uh, next hat that I received was this one right here. And this is, of course, Anubis. And usually he is thought of as the god of the dead. He's jackal-headed, as Horus is usually shown with a hawk head. Um, that is probably one of his most common uh, manifestations with a hawk head. Anubis is almost always shown with a jackal head. And uh, he's the god of the underworld, and he's the god of the dead in ancient Egypt. And you can see that both, both um, Horus and Anubis carry onks as a symbol of immortality and life. And in this one, Horus also carries a staff, which indicates him as a ruler. On top of his head, he has the sun, which in this particular tat is made to look old with the cracks in it. And uh, you can see some other cracks as well in, in the actual execution there. Same thing with, um, with Anubis here. Uh, the, the pictures that these were derived from were meant to look old, uh, like they were ancient hieroglyphics, and I like the fact that they had like the cracks and the chipping and things that you would see normally in uh, in Egyptian art uh, today. And the last one um, is this one here, and this is um, a winged scarab, and above the winged scarab is, uh, once again, the solar disk, which features prominently in Egyptian iconography, uh, with two serpent's heads coming out of it. Uh, the scarab is another, is another symbol of um, immortality and life and good luck. And it is an icon that features uh, prominently in uh, Egyptian art and uh, mythology and history. In the in the um, books of the dead and some of the pyramid texts, uh, the scarab is shown actually pushing the sun before it. And of course, as you, as you probably know, scarabs are dung beetles, and dung beetles uh, would actually push balls of dung. Um, and this is perhaps where the imagery came from. So finally. Uh, uh, as a sort of wrap-up to the review of my tats, uh, the reason why I have Egyptian tats and why I don't have any others is uh, because I view Egypt as being probably the, um, the greatest ancient civilization in many ways, not to discount from others who have uh, given us many things, but... Um, uh, consider the fact that the Egyptians left us some of the greatest marvels in the history of the world, uh, namely the pyramids. And while there are a lot of uh, theories about how they were ever constructed, and I don't believe it was by aliens, <coughs> even though there are some that, that do believe that the ridiculous notion, um, we still don't have a good working theory for how this was accomplished. Uh, not only that, but we also have cyclopean and megalithic structures there um, that are made like the tomb at Abydos, um, which uh, have blocks of stone so intricately connected around corners and, and in crevices that you can't even slip a razor blade through. Uh, you see this construction throughout the world in some other places, uh, most notably uh, Machu Picchu. Uh, but uh, it is given its grandest life in ancient Egypt, in the, the pyramids and some of the other structures that, uh, that are there. So I think there's much that we don't know, and, and I believe that uh, Egypt is a land of mystery, and uh, it is also a land of marvels. And uh, I like the fact that we don't know a lot of the answers to the questions that surround Egypt, and that's why I've decorated myself with the symbols of ancient Egypt. And I like simplicity. And that is why all of my tats are just black and white. 
Um, in fact, the first two that I got, well, first three that I got, are just black. There's not even any white in them. Uh, these these three on my forearms, this one, this one, and this one, uh, do have some white incorporated into them. Um, but I like simplicity. I believe in sort of a yin and yang, black and white. Um, so that's the reason why I have them. Of course, I could go into a great long dissertation about Egyptian mythology and history and uh, some of the great things that I love about... Egypt, but I'm sure anybody who's interested in that subject will already know uh, a great deal of that, so I won't bore you with it. Hey, what do you know? I made it through an entire one without swearing once. What do you think about that? Thanks. Have a good night.